Hello everyone, this is Free Roam Reading with me. Today we're going to be doing a love style reading, see what's coming through. Um, so I like to go sort of in between, maybe one day we do like a non-love reading, another day we do a love reading, you know, kind of um, rotating it. So, because I know that not everyone wants a love reading, but many of you do. So we're going to have a look, see what's coming through. I have your cards right here. Um, there was also another deck as well, which I'm going to grab because I really think that it could fit nicely with the reading. So we're going to do a spread, see what's coming through. And I really feel a very good energy. So I just wanted to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be down below as well. They are done within 12 to 24 hours with me. And of course, intention items are on my website. Um, of course, there are thousands of five-star reviews as well, which you can check out at the bottom of my website. Ta-da! <laughs> well, it's, it's actually on the website, but yeah, there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, crystals, sage, intention pouches, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet, or your purse. Um, you can do the same with the cards. Everything's meditated with and sage. These are very unique items that you cannot find everywhere else. Let me show you. This is one of the intention cards, completely hand-embroidered by me. And we also have as well candles for example um, for lots of different attentions there's also the love twin flame soulmate reconciliation career wealth success manifest your wishes candles and they are handmade hand poured um, tested for safety and yeah they're really really special so definitely check these out if you are interested as well okay so let's begin and see what is coming through sorry just, i had to put that down <laughs> it was gonna make a noise anyways right so let's see Oh, there's a change coming. Right, let me do this. Look at this. There is the change coming. The Eight of Wands is quite beautiful for many reasons. A, because it shows movement coming into your life. And then also, Wheel of Fortune is expansion. So this here goes to show that in regards to love, there is a real, like, expanding energy where things are progressing, things are coming together. Wheel of Fortune is really Jupiter, it's success, it's happiness. Um, it can also be things to do with, like, long distance as well, like um, a bridging of the gap. So I really feel like if you feel like love is just so far away from you, um, you know, your love life just isn't happening, I feel here that many of you are not going to be single for long. I really feel like this is for many of you who are single to be honest um, but I just feel like you're not going to be single for long because this Wheel of Fortune here shows an element of things coming together. I see commitment, I see progression, I see here a bridging of distance which to be honest also the two of wands here shows you know distance being being a factor so I just feel like there is definitely this sense of you feeling like if your love life is so far away and you're completely single there seems to be someone that comes towards you especially with the page of swords with some beautiful communication which just makes you feel like ah ah thank you so much now I know where I stand and it can also be a crush for some of you but for some of you you may have known this person for a while so just keep that in mind I just feel here you know and distance doesn't have to be physical it can also be like emotional distance it can be separation it can be um distance in the the case of like not even knowing who this person is right so I think that this is a very universal reading but it's definitely for those of you that are single where I'm literally telling you guys like look you're not gonna be single for long because the wheel of fortune shows a lot more is going to come together I'm interested to see more characteristics and personal personality of this person as in who they are what's going on how they're going to treat you etc etc like I want to I want to see that too you know so let's do this empress beautiful right empress here definitely goes to show that they're very loving and very kind and caring I mean you are as well but it just goes to show that you will feel so happy and so content the empress really doesn't accept less than what she deserves and whether you're male or female remember I read energies not specifically um, genders but what I will say is that the empress goes to show that there is a real sense of respect and consistency that comes through from this person which I think is so important right you want to feel respected you want to feel that consistency you want to feel appreciated you want to feel loved you don't just want someone who's just like meh no right so this really goes to show here that there's someone who's ge genuinely wanting to make an effort and I think that is attractive <laughs> it reminds me of that um that man on tiktok who's really popular I think it is it cab cabby cabby I, I can't remember but he just goes like this every time to just make things very obvious 
<laughs> yeah, it's what I feel too. But let me get this deck that I was talking about as well. Just like feel very connected to it. All right. Okay, so this is um, an oracle deck. I think it's called Serenity, Serenity, Love Messages, something like that. So I just want to know more about this, to be honest. More about this person, how they treat you. <laughs> Look at this, it's really interesting. We have here, I get jealous. So I think that they would be very jealous if they let you go. That's, that's definitely a, um, a vibe here. They are very jealous. Jealous in the context where they don't want you to be with someone else. I feel like that's a really important thing for me to mention here is that they don't want you with, with anyone else. Hence, they, they really just want to, you know, be with you and make things work with you. Ten of Cups. I mean, they're definitely they're definitely wanting to, to come towards you. And so this basically shows commitment. I feel like it, that's the main that's the main word, the C word, <laughs> the C word, which I just didn't even mention. I was like, you know, a lot of you aren't gonna be single for long and you're probably like, what does that mean? Well, it means that you're gonna be in a commitment soon. So that really is quite significant here. Now this varies from person to person. The timing aspect of things can vary. So just keep that in mind. But these are like really, they sound really strange when you shuffle them, but you know. They are cards, and I love cards. Okay, so. I want to feel your lips on mine. Okay, very romantic for sure. Okay, they, they just don't want you to be with anyone else. I feel here that they just know your worth, your, they know your value, they do not want you to be with anybody else. They can't stand the, the thought of you being with somebody else. That is 100% for sure. Like, you just can't, you know can't get around that we have here I look into your eyes and see my soul mirrored back at me now some of you may also feel that with this person but what I feel is that they feel it right so if you've been the one also feeling this perhaps in certain scenarios just know that they also feel this too where when they look into you they see a, a, a real part of themselves and I think that that's quite significant because there's genuine realizations um, here which I think is just so significant we have here you are the song I can't get out of my head you know, they, they can't stop thinking about you. That is for sure. Okay, let's do a row of tarot. Yeah, physically they feel really attracted towards you. They just don't know what to do with themselves half the time because they're just so, so attracted towards you. Wow, you can see why they're so triggered to come towards you because they can't stop thinking about you. They feel really connected towards you. For some of you, this is a crush. Some of you haven't even met this person. And for some of you... This is someone you know, but like, oh boy, do they get jealous, you know? And do they want to come towards you knowing that if you end up with somebody else that they could have lost the best thing that's ever happened to them or the best thing that could have ever happened to them? They don't want to feel that kind of regret. Trust me on that. So they're coming quite desperately. High Priestess. Two of Cups. Justice, strength, <laughs> and sun card. E he he. Just can't make this up. Look at it. I'm gonna knock over like half of the little banner, but I just I just put it there. I know it doesn't look like the most elegant thing on the planet. Just kind of like half on the other cards, but it's okay. Wow. I tell you what, this really does go to show in so many ways that you're going to be in a commitment. Some of you are also going to get married soon from what I'm seeing because the Two of Cups really does go to show commitment, right? Angel of Venus, you got Venus here as well. You've got the Sun. The Sun is also the solar plexus chakra energy, which is to do with inner peace, fulfillment, um, you know, personal power, feeling confident within yourself, which also this person will pick up on. Also, the Strength card is also solar plexus chakra energy as well. Um, it's known in historical text maybe not so much modern text, that Leo is connected to the sun. And I feel it. I feel it. Every time I think of Leo, I do think of the sun. And I think that that's also because the colour of the lion really reminds me of the sun. I don't know why. But anyways, the point of this is, is that I really genuinely do believe that Leo and the sun are somehow related. Um, that sort of ferocious, like courageous... Um, energy. Um, but also, you know, the solar plexus chakra is very calming. It feeds life into things. So I really feel here that there's a sense of them picking up on your strength and really just being so triggered to, to coming towards you and um, 
very much so wanting to do so, especially with the justice card as well. There's really just a, such a powerful energy here of them wanting to progress towards you, wanting to move things along with you. I see this energy of also being settled, you know, like having that sort of settled down energy, feeling settled, um, having your life in a place where you feel, again, settled um, to a degree. I think that's really important. So it, it really just goes to show here that you're going to have love and joy and commitment and happiness and fulfillment, um, perhaps even to a degree where you may not have realized or recognized that that is the, the case. So I, I really feel here that many of you are not going to be single well, for long and you're definitely going to have love and joy um, and fulfillment and these aspects of your life coming together which I think is just so so beautiful so it's something to definitely look forward to it's something to to know is coming into your life and also the other thing as well is that they will feel so intimately attracted towards you but not just in terms of your physical looks but also in regards to how you are emotionally um, emotionally wanting to listen to you connect to you um, feeling so so um attracted to your intellect and your personal power and how you treat people that genuine kind empathic energy that you have is something that they know that not everybody has hence they feel very very connected to you again whether you're male or female i feel very strongly that there's quite a strong um energy here of, of three signs that i'm i'm seeing very dominant actually there's four signs that i see very dominant so one is definitely leo as i mentioned Another one is Libra, which we mentioned with Justice. Um, another one is, well, it's, it's quite strong in terms of Pisces, I would say, because of the um, High Priestess. But I also see Venus as very, very powerful as well because of these two cards. And Venus rules, well, Libra is one, you know, but also Taurus. So those are the, the, the signs that I see. Now, those signs don't make sense to you, don't worry, because essentially the, the reading itself showcases you know a lot in that sense and some of you may have you know sun you have sun moon rising venus signs and you may have you know one of those signs in your sun moon rising or venus it might be in there sun moon rising or venus so those are just the signs that i'm seeing straight away i feel like they are going to be like really strong and set in what they want right that's like a big thing is that once they're strong and set in what they want and they've kind of looked out into the world and recognized what's out there then they start to recognize what they want and what they want is you and they're going to be triggered to come towards you and make things work with you why because they want you it's, it's as simple as that they want you hence they come to you <laughs> that's that's literally it and they get very very triggered to come towards you that's it's literally as simple as that so I, I really hope that this reading helped you um, in terms of star signs, a bit more information on them um, in the sense that they're definitely a lot more mature to, to recognize this and they recognize that they don't want to be without you. They don't want to lose you, basically. That is a big, you know, thing to their ego, but you know, that's that's why they also come, because they really want to, they, they know, right? So this is your reading. Of course, if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, um, especially if you claim it as well. Definitely like and subscribe and comment down below. Um, and yeah, I hope to, of course, see you all very soon. Of course, all the intention items are listed down below. These intention items work. Um, you can check out the review section, but there's also the private paid readings, free reading giveaway as well. You know, everything's down below. I also have TikTok and Instagram if you want to follow me on there feel free to do so I post short readings on there every single day and take care everyone bye